Okay, a special time right here in the kitchen now. Yesterday, this gentleman, his name is John Moeller. He was a chef at the White House for 13 years, and he is also an author of a book. And you came into the studio yesterday, and you're like, I'm just checking in for my interview. We're going to do just a simple sit-down, four-minute interview. Uh -huh. And then by the end of our conversation, you're like, I'm also just cooking the kitchen. I didn't know you had a kitchen until yesterday afternoon. Oh, I know. You came over and checked it all out. Thank you for coming in. Oh, it's great to be here. Thank it's you. It's nice to mm -hmm. have you. Um, so during the course of um, your preparation here, first off, let me ask you, how did you come up with what you're going to be making today, and what are you making? Well, uh, yesterday we had a conversation saying, you know, what are some of your favorite foods? And, uh, you know, there's two aspects of our cooking. Uh, the, you had the official f menus that you did for, you know, steak dinners and lunches and dinners and all those types of things. And then we were private chefs, too, cooking breakfast, lunch, and dinner for the president, uh, their guests, on a daily basis. So could they just come up to you and say, hey, can you make me a little, uh, mm -hmm. make me a cheeseburger? I'm in the mood for a cheeseburger. I do whatever, whatever they, they want, want, right? Yep. And you spent 13 years at the White House. Yes. Uh -huh. So who did you... Chef four. Well, it started with George H. W. Bush in 1992. Spent eight years with the Clintons, and then five years with George W. Bush. How fascinating! Mm -hmm. Fascinating. And then out of what we were talking about yesterday, uh, you asked me what are some of their favorite foods, and I said they all like my chicken enchilada. And uh, we were just kind of talking off the cuff, and he said, "Well, let's make that." So I went to <laughs> City Market, and uh, voila! Twelve hours later, you got this. So we have this started. Let's talk a little bit about your book because uh -huh. I think this is you're going to be at the bookworm. Um, mm -hmm. You have a big event coming up. You're going to be doing a, a sit-down dinner there, and you're also uh -huh. going to be doing a meet and greet. But as you tell us about it, let's talk about the preparation of the food and what you're doing today. Absolutely. So on the uh, on the chicken enchilada. I mean, I really enjoy a good enchilada when it's done correctly, and I kind of perfected my recipe over the years here. So originally, I started with whole chicken, and I cooked it, seared it up with tomatoes, chipotle, garlic, onions, carrots, celery, and I braised the chicken whole until the meat comes off the bone, and then I pulled that off. And then what's left in the pot, I pureed with all those vegetables, the carrots, the celery, the onions, the chipotle. That's the ticket right there. That's the ticket. It's always about the sauce. That you know? is the ticket. Mm -hmm. You don't want to get that little package that says chicken enchilada sauce, mix it with a little bit of milk and pour it on it. Only if you That's really have to. Right? <laughs> that, that, right? It's all about the sauce on almost anything. You know, I'm big about stock preparation, uh, cooking a good demi glace. I mean, a veal stock is wonderful for a good sauce that goes with a, a good steak or a meat product, you know. And so I took this, pureed it all up. That created the thickness of the sauce from the vegetables and the chipotle and everything else. Okay. And there's, so there's chicken stock, tomato, carrots, celery, onions, garlic and all that goodness there. And once I get that pureed, and I got my chicken has been pulled, I take fresh tor corn tortillas, and I got a hot pan here. Now, why do you use corn as opposed to flour? Just because? What's, the, what's, the, what's your take on that? Well, chicken enchiladas <coughs> definitely need corn uh, okay. tortillas, for sure. And it was kind of funny, a funny story, when, I, when George, H, uh, George W. Bush came into office, about a month later, uh, the Bushes had dinner, and I was gonna do a uh, fajitas. And I saw Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Bush in the afternoon and said, oh, tonight I'm going to do fajitas. She goes, oh, that's great. What do you have? So I told her all about the, you know, I got poblanos and the onions and all this stuff. That all sounds good. But we're from Texas. We only eat corn tortillas. We don't eat those flour tortillas. I said, yes, ma'am. And I now, said, I'll take a look into that it. That started the whole process. So from now mm -hmm. on, it's always corn for you. I really enjoy the corn tortillas. It really is something. Mm -hmm. and okay, so, you, so you're heating them up. Yep, so you, you definitely have to get a little bit warm. You cracked it up a little bit. And you got to get a nice soft one already, you know, one that's not has been sitting on a shelf for a long time. Okay. And so it's a little bit firm, but when you put it in here to heat it up here, it becomes a little more pliable. So then you can fill it and roll it. Exactly. It rolls a lot easier once it heats up here. Okay. And then over here, I will take that nice little enchilada sauce. Oh, that special sauce right there. Smear it all around here like this here. All right. Mm. Then we have the, the, the chicken. Le chicken. Le poulet. <laughs> okay, so while you're doing this, obviously, mm -hmm. I was going to hear about your event. I want to hear why you're doing this. What's going on at the bookworm? I want you to mm -hmm. hit, do, do two things at once. Can we get it done? Let's Absolutely. See if we can do it. All right. So, so we got the uh, onions and peppers I like to put in there with it. We got the chicken. I'm going to add some like a Mexican blend cheese. Okay. And tomorrow night at the uh, bookworm, I will be, um, uh, we're recreating one of my menus. Uh, in their situation, because they don't have like a full kitchen right. there. So uh, they're going to be serving X amount of people coming in there. And while they're serving, I will be out entertaining the guests 
with my stories. And I've yet to have a group say, wow, that was kind of boring. So here's <laughs> information about it. Dining at the White House is the name of your book. Uh -huh. uh, pricing, obviously, you can go as an individual or a couple. I recommend going as a couple. Uh -huh. And probably get a hold of the crew at the Bookworm early because chances are with a limited space, this could sell out quickly. It could, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. And uh, for a single, the book is included with the price. Oh, great. And for the couple, you're just getting one book for a couple. That's the difference. That works fine. Absolutely. Uh -huh. Okay, so we got this. So we got cheese is going in. Cheese. We're going to sprinkle some nice cheese over top here. We're going to take this guy here. We're going to just kind of roll him up like this here. Nice and fat, huh? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. And then what we, well, afterwards, what we do is I put it in a, in a casserole dish. Okay. And then I'll cover it with that nice sauce again there. Got to get all that tortilla covered with the sauce. Oh, look at that. That's the ticket also. Not just a little bit of the tortilla, but the whole thing. That's the whole enchilada, my friend. The whole enchilada. Yeah. So we... <laughs> No pun intended there, right? Oh, where'd that come from? Eh? I know. Where did that come from, actually? Do we know where it came from? I don't know. Probably south of the border but somewhere. I, that's my new thing, the whole mm -hmm. enchilada. That means you cover the whole enchilada with the sauce. Exactly. And okay. then in the Magic TV, in this oven here, we have... Cut it out. How'd that get in there? I don't know. It's those, those little chef elves that are out there, you know? Okay, so then you've done 8, 10, 12 of these just like that, dropped them into your... Mm -hmm into your, your little pan here. Absolutely. So I get the casserole dish. In the casserole dish, I take the sauce, smear it all around, roll up each one individually, set them inside there next to each other, but not too tight, and then cover it with the sauce and then the cheese. And then uh, what I like to do is I like to put plastic wrap over it first and then aluminum foil. Okay. Uh, long as the, uh, the plastic wrap isn't hanging out all over the place, you can do that with the aluminum foil against it. Otherwise, the, guess what? The cheese sticks to the foil. You take yeah. it off, and there goes all the cheese with it. You know. That's a good. And, that's good. As long as it's not screaming hot either. I mean, it, 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 and so I mean, that could have used maybe a couple more minutes in there just to kind of get the cheese melting down well. Yeah, it doesn't look good or anything. You'll probably need some more time in the oven. I don't know. I don't. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this thing today, though. I, mean, I bet you we're going to plate it and check it out. As I got a feeling, I got a crew in the back in the control room probably hungry right now. I, oh. If they can do that, be, I really appreciate it. I'm going to take this thing back empty. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to let you do that. So we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll let you plate it up, and we're going to close the show. Does that sound good? Fantastic. Thank okay, you, sir. It's John Moeller. He's got a book mm -hmm. called Dining at the White House, correct? Mm -hmm. Yes. Chefing at the White House. He was there for 13 years. He has some great activities happening at the Bookworm. You can go to their website if you want to find out about his dinner tomorrow night. Or it's actually Thursday night. Then he also has a meet and greet on Friday. We'll be right back more with John. Yep. Mm -hmm.